Hello, my name is Fred. F R E D. Fred. Fred Royce. I'm here outside uh, the Dale, uh, the, the Irish uh, Parliament, uh, and I just want to tell you, um, and give you an introduction to the, the concept. Concept is in its basic, basic form um, that the four countries, uh, England, Scotland, uh, Northern Ireland, I'll come back to that, and, uh, that's why I'm here at Dublin, um, and Wales, wake up, we each have our own parliament. The English do not have their own parliament. The English to get their own parliament back. It sounds like a split. Then I'll come on to the, the High Council. The High Council is other two. Um, three from each. Three from England, uh, three, from, three from Scotland, three from... I'll include Ireland as a whole. Come back to that one. And three from Wales. Uh, voted in members to the High Council. Remember the High Council. Okay. And the High Council will move every year from England, Scotland, and Ireland. I'll come back to that in a minute. It's a special, special case. Different to be honest. Ireland is a special case. And uh, we've gone from there uh, to, to Cardiff to Wales. So it's a circular rotation. Every year the High Council will move. And the High Council has the uh, repertoire to try and even out the laws between the different countries and uh, um, uh, out, out, out of the four, out of the four countries. So here we edge back to the, council, the High Council and the four members are, uh, put it this way, from when it is Ireland's turn. One of the High Council members uh, from Ulster and the other two from the rest of the island. Subject to agreement. Nobody goes anywhere. Nobody loses any sovereignty at all. It will sit for the present time. Every time that Ireland has the High Council state in Downpatrick. Downpatrick is the <laughs> said the home to St. Patrick and his grave. The area said it, the bones are said to be buried underneath the cathedral and the stone outside the cathedral is representative of those bones to try and make a bridge between the two communities. I know. I served there from 74 to 77. During the troubles. So, but this is just to give a background, trying to bring things together and to join Ireland as one in due course. If anything, Brexit goes ahead, a hard border is likely to go ahead, or maybe, everything is maybe at the moment, and, um, but to try and keep the the R out of a country border, to a county border. It's my objective. I'm not a Republican. I'm a Queensman. I've been in the army for 12 years. But in 33 years, with the British Foreign Office. Two years seconded to the Santa Whitehall, the Cabinet Office, and the Foreign Minister of the Senate. The Communications Office is a project. Project for me. It's not good. No. Let's see how things go. The main thing is to keep things together. The main thing is to push things under the direction of the directorship of the High Council. We're just sitting for that year, a fourth member is put in. So, in the case of Ireland, Fourth member is voted in and is the head of the High Council. The High Council directs to try and even out the laws uh, 
between the four countries. and change things within the EU to them more democratic as well. And I'll leave you from there really. There's other parts of this uh, that look after London and um, Parliament, the English Parliament in London. But uh, I'm, in du I'm in Dublin at the moment, I'm tomorrow or later on I'll be in Belfast. Thank you for listening. My name's Fred. Federal said. So things go. I'll see this together. Thank you very much. Bye -bye.